Alright. Welcome. You're truly. Oh, it's on? Yeah. <laughs> Vlad Stylemore here. Famous artist. Yeah, coming up. Chief Keith here. How you doing? <laughs> no buds intended. Yeah. Alright. So, today we're sitting out here in mosquito infested barn trying to make up some paint. Uh, and in the meantime, we're going to talk shit, carry on about whatever might be on your mind. You know, you got anything, you know, pressing topics that you might want to discuss, Chief? Chief, this might be the Chief and Keeping place to do it. Chief and the Keeping in. <laughs> and the Keep okay. Chiefing. Uh, uh, as our primary objective, uh, we are going to be bullshitting and totally wasting time. Uh, on secondary objective, we're going to be making some paint. Uh... We're going to be mixing up some secondary colors. Have you ever done this before? No, I have not. No. All right, well, you're going to learn something really awesome today. Mm. All right, first thing you need to do is uh, we're going to get you to make some green, all right? Some green. You can pick either the two blues I got in here, which is this darker blue, which is phthalo blue, blue and or yeah. the lighter blue, which is ultramarine. Yeah, look at that one. The lighter one. You want that one? Now... The next part of it to make green is to use the yellow. You can use the darker yellow, yellow ochre, or this yellow medium. Mm -hmm. And you can put them in your tubes like what I'm going to be doing here while making orange. Uh, I'll be taking permanent red, you know, kind of add. Uh, whatever amount you make in there, you can always add more. Just don't fucking overflow it. Mm -hmm. So we got a little bit of red there. A little bit of yellow. Actually, probably a lot of yellow. I love that. And then kind of add a little bit of this shit here. What's that? This is a blank medium. It's a matte medium. It's basically like blank paint. You know, it doesn't have any pigments into it. So once you get that in there kind of mixed up, you know, use this thing here and kind of chop it up and stir it around and you will create your secondary color by adding two of the primary colors together. Which your primaries are yellow, red, and blue, which is the only ones I have over here. So, as you can see, we didn't make a very strong orange. So, in order for me to make the orange stronger, of course, you see how it's more red than it is yellow? Yeah. And I'll add more yellow to it. And mix it up some more. So go ahead and try that with your blue, man. You know, there's no wrong answer here. <laughs> you know, the, and the, the thing about all art, you know, performance art or, uh, or visual arts is the, the show must go on sort of thing. You know? yeah. it, it always kind of keeps us going. So. Anyway, so we got a um, special guest from out of town coming here today. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, apparently. Oh, yeah, she's semi-famous in my world and uh, wants to be famous in uh, Mr. Keith Sheep's world. Uh, did you unscrew the whole thing? Has it never been opened yet? It's never been opened, no. Oh, all right. Let's see you get the crescent in there. Brand new. Brand new. <laughs> so, yeah, she's going to be coming out here and hanging out for a while. We're probably going to uh, maybe feature her in a video or two or three. You know, put her on Facebook Live or whatever. It's happened where I... Yeah. That's where I ran into her the other day. Uh, in the middle of the night, nonetheless. Um, oh, yeah. So that's going to be cool to have, a, you know, some characters out here. Trying to kind of build my little system up here. You know, bring in some, some people who know aren't actually in the painting thing, you know. And then put your ass to work. <laughs> Working for me making colors right now which is cool because i mean you get to kind of learn something neat you know i think and uh and once you, you know once you get your color stirred up and shit did you get your little stick here and you said to add that to it uh yeah just kind of coat it like it would be ice cream you mm -hmm. know like you see that little blob of paint there it's kind of coated around there don't add a whole lot of it you know because it will it will thin the paint out a little bit too, but not quite like water will. So it's not as like water will thin it down to it loses its kind of painty texture, you know, and, and like liquefy it more. This is kind of this is still obviously paint. And uh, the, I think the stick works the best. Oh, nice job, bro. Luckily, it won't go anywhere. It's not like liquid or anything. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, uh, like I think the stick works the best for for mixing it up in these small little containers like this. Dude, there's a lot of fucking mosquitoes out here. Dude. I don't know if we're gonna last the whole fucking 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we're having a retreat. <laughs> Um, but anyway, once you get your little color situated, you'll see that some of it's still stuck on the sides. Uh, no worries. Leave it that way. We want it to be kind of like nothing but like pure hues, which, you know, of the colors hues. And when you add white to it is when you start to change all that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, mix it up nice and good. Like, scrape the sides and pull it off and everything like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I need more yellow. Yeah, yeah. Pull it in there, man. You know, like I said, you ain't gonna hurt nothing, dude. Um... Oh, nice job. Okay, uh, for things uh, that are going on like that, use this and scrape it up and just kind of scrape it back into the tub. Oh, I'm going to make you work for it now. <laughs> Man, don't worry. You're not you're not the yeah. professional here. That's my job. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of making some, some, you know prepared secondary colors for when I, uh, you know, start working on the other paintings and all that. Right. And to kind of just, you know, get you out of here doing something. Too. Yeah, do something. So we're sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you get done with your, your mixing or whatever, you know, just kind of wash it off in the old coffee pot here. Don't worry, we don't actually drink coffee out of this pot. Even though it might be a cool idea one day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, like, uh, so uh, my buddy, uh, he he heard that you know you can uh, the like precursor chemical for MDMA comes from sassafras oil, saffron, uh, and so he decided to go get a bunch of sassafras bark, right, and an attempt to get saffron out of it. Oh, now, man. now it, it does in fact contain <laughs> saffron, but his genius idea was that. If just because it's a precursor to MDMA, that yeah. it might possibly have some similar effects. But uh, lo and behold, saffron is a cat carcinogen and out provides absolutely no psychoactive effects at, at all. Hmm. So basically, he uh, brewed this saffron tea in my coffee pot and <laughs> it contained, uh, it left the flavor of this sassafras yeah. in my coffee for the rest of eternity. And it was so bad, dude. And oh, my lord. Yeah, and I was trying to explain it. I'm like, bro, it's just because it says it's a precursor, you, you know, like, damn, dude. Like, uh, uh, crude oil is a precursor to gasoline, but you don't burn it in your gas tank, do you? No. Yeah. I'm not trying to be super picky, it's but I'm trying to be super picky. Okay. You know, just gotta scrape it around the edges like that. Mm. Are you gonna add red? Uh, not to that, no. Now, that's a, this is a good chance to tell you that uh, the uh, the opposite color that you come across uh, on the color wheel, say now the opposite color for green is red. And now if you were to add red to this, um, you will in fact create a brown. Mm. Now, just for shits and giggles, if you want to try that, here, let's see. Uh, get one of those tubes. Here. No, 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 uh, one of those things. Oh. And, uh, there you go. Add a little bit of red to that and stir it around and see what happens. And uh, the ones that we complete will just want to sit down here on the ground. Right, just a little bit right there. You guys come out. Alright, so. Um, well, you know, I do appreciate you coming out here and doing this. I mean, this might not be the most interesting recording ever, but it's it's kind of like, you know, training day for me, kind of. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. trying to, like, level up my, uh, my, uh, mm, my YouTube <laughs> career kind of thing. Um, Andy, did you do this or did I do this? Oh, that was me. Uh, damn, you fucking up, aren't you? 
Messy, messy. No, 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 I ain't holding against you. Guys. <laughs> I got you to come out here. I'm sure to hold against me. <laughs> Damn it, Carl, did you put it in there? Yeah. Do the ground. Here, uh, I'll take a little bit of that. All right, then you add that in there. And, um, Water. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it will help kind of mix it up a little bit in there too. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> God damn it, man. it can be destroyed out here. Mm -hmm. The enemy is real. Yeah, you know, probably see me going through this pretty quickly, but at the same time, that's that's okay. That's what it's there for. And and it was a, a, a donation uh, from a good mutual friend of ours. Yeah, see, I uh, I had this red on my my stick here, and I started mixing this up with green in it. So hopefully, it won't destroy my green. Yeah. You see how it's kind of just turned into that duty brown color mm -hmm. there? Yeah. Chocolate pudding. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. You want to like uh, make you a purple or something like that? I think you know, just kind of scrape it off or whatever. You know, clean your stick off the best you can. Make you a purple. Um, by doing that, you just mix up red and blue. Well, we only got... You think we can make it through six more of these tubes before we have the retreat? Yeah, yeah I'm working... Yeah, I'm, I'm working just about three times faster than you, so don't worry about it. And we're not going to be held hostage out here forever, <laughs> but I did want to kidnap you for a little bit since, uh, you know, you're like... The sexy male, and I could be the sexy female. You know. <laughs> yeah. Female, female, whatever. It is impossible to get all of it. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's why I'm just kind of like, you know, just this stuff around inside like that. Don't worry about it too much. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be picking grade you on it exactly. You know what I mean? But if you do want to like kind of, um, you want to help it out a little bit, you know, you give it a little water in there and that'll help kind of get it down too. But um, I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Um, what we can do is, um, let me see that color. Uh, it takes some of that. <laughs> Purple. Yeah, already turned into a purple color. Well, it's still gotta be brown in the end, but look at it, it's like a greenish brown, right? Hmm. Share this on our Facebooks and all that, so that you know your 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 wonderful friends can see me. You know, <laughs> and they, hey, make sure you know buy Belle's paintings. You know, cause she needs to get her fiance back tomorrow, next week. So, and also, it's also great to, you know, uh, you see what conditions we're working in out here. We don't even have the insect repellent. Come on, yeah. you know, have mercy on us, people. Support the local artist. This actually makes it kind of nice purple. I like it. It's a pretty purple. It's like plum. I might get your ass out here just to paint with me one day if you want to. Yeah, I might actually. Yeah, it's fun, you know. You don't even have to know what the fuck you're doing, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I got enough canvases that, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and they're pretty cheap, though. Even though it's uh, COVID-19 shit is kind of uh, the the... The country of the United States has diverted resources from 
uh, making cotton things like canvases, you know, for, for artists um, and turn it into straight up, you know, manufacturing COVID-19 masks mm. and, and shit like that just for them to be thrown away, you know, man, it's ridiculous, man. Um, but, you know, we're all going to die one way or the other, so might as well die with a, a new painting. Uh, or like, well, in my case, with painting paint all over your body, I might just cover myself with paint in order to avoid <laughs> oh being devoured God. by insects. You know, that just, that's just absolutely absurd. Well, you're, you're a little quicker here, quick. Oh. Is that when at four o'clock when you gotta go in? Yeah. All right, dude. Um, you can kind of, I guess, you can kind of dip out if you want to. You know. Yeah, I gotta get a shower. Uh, I need a darker orange anyway, but that's cool. Um, I appreciate you stopping out here to do the do the thing with me. You got me all me. messy, man. Hey, well, that's the fucking fun of it, all right? You done with this one? Yeah. All right, cool. Now we got Swamp Green here, which is cool with me. All right, here we go. Swamp Man. Swamp Man. <laughs> Yeah, you can head out now, man. Exit stage right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll see you on the inside, man. I'm going to finish these, and then I'm going to finish up the video and head on out. All right. Yeah. Man, get appreciate you stopping by, everybody. You're going to get a bath anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. All right, then. All right, bro. I'll see you. And uh, I got two more of these things. Oh, shit. No, I got like four more. Bro. There's no rush for me. Yeah, bro, I'll see you. I'm more or less talking to the camera anyway, but... <laughs> Alright, yeah. So, I figured I'd bring him out here and get him to, to try out, you know, his little handy crafting paint for a bit. And, you know, to have another face up here besides my sexy ass. But I'll tell you one thing, though. It is absolutely insane how many bugs are out here right now. And I don't really don't enjoy it very much. I might um, decide to... To bring some of this stuff back inside and that way I can kind of continue to do my work in there uh, that I would like to do out here so this is just mixing paints anyway uh, I'm gonna just kind of continue on with what I got going here for now and uh, you know go set up inside um I really need to clean my my room which is like my art studio. If anyone actually follows me, you would have seen the other night. It's absolutely hideous in there. So I need to do a lot of work um, as far as, um, yeah, damn, I used that. Uh, let's ask some more stuff. Um, I need to do a lot of work with uh, the cleaning of the floors and, uh, and getting, uh, clothes up and, and the bed made and all that because uh, once my current house guests move out I'm probably going to take over the master bedroom again which I kind of forfeit that willingly because of the fact that the computer was in the other room and that I was able to uh, get on uh, the internet and watch movies and all that stuff with my fiance back then so I'm going to mix this one up here and I'm going to gather up my stuff and I'm going to transport everything back inside because the insect population is absolutely phenomenal at the moment and it's driving me near insane. So, that being said, ah! Thanks for uh, joining me today and uh, Vel's Designs. Um, be sure to follow, like, subscribe, bada boom, bada bam, man, on Facebook and all that great stuff. Veleste Alamore, yours truly. And catch me on uh, part two of uh, finishing uh, the, the mixing of the paints. Right now, uh, it's called Gather My Supplies and uh, GTFO. <laughs>